Hi. Well, we're back. We've been gone for a couple of months. My wife had a knee replacement surgery, but mostly it's because Chibi broke a nail on one of her back feet. She was running as fast as she could. She flipped over and she whacked her foot on the side of a cement walkway. Her nail was shifted 90 degrees to the side. I completely freaked out. I've never seen anything like that before. I took her to an ER clinic that night and they sedated her and removed the nail, leaving the entire quick exposed. For the first couple of weeks, she had to visit our vet every two to three days for bandage changes. Our vet is 35 minutes away, so that was a lot of driving. Chibi had to wear a cone for six weeks while being sedated and confined to a cage most of the time. We had to keep her in that cage because I had to take every precaution to avoid injuring that nail again. If the process was interrupted, we would have to start all over. Or even worse, an infection could spread into her bone. My vet warned me about that so many times and it scared me. But that also motivated me to never ease up. We had to get this thing to heal. And on top of all of this, one of the sedatives I gave her, gabapentin, caused severe fecal incontinence. Yeah, fecal incontinence. I had to bathe her every time she pooped all over herself, and I bought a pressure washer to deal with cleaning her cages, cones, and her toys. I was rotating between two cages and three cones, and this would happen up to eight times a day. In fact, one time I was holding her as I was sitting on my sofa and she fell asleep in my arms. And as she was sleeping, she pooped all over my shirt. She was sleeping. She had no idea that even happened. Poor little thing. Fortunately, our vet prescribed another sedative to replace the gabapentin, one called trazodone, and that really seemed to help. She only had the issue a couple of times in the next few weeks, not the six to eight times per day. In the 34 years I've had dogs, I have never seen one with a broken nail. The quick was completely exposed like a weird science fiction movie, or one of those see-through human anatomy models we had as kids. I felt so bad for Chibi. It was only a little while before that that she was spayed and had to wear a cone for two weeks to heal from that. Between the spaying and the broken nail, she was in a cone and caged for almost eight weeks. That's a huge percentage of her young puppy life. I did my best to make sure that she was always with me. Although she was confined to a cage, I always had her cage near me, whether I was in the living room or working on a project on my computer. So that was a good thing for us. Once we changed a prescription to trazodone and she wasn't having such an issue with her fecal incontinence, I could let her out of the cage more often. As long as she was closely supervised and not allowed to run crazy, I could let her follow me around and we would calmly play. We both appreciated that. Fortunately, everything is almost back to normal now. No more cones, no more meds, and she can run on soft surfaces like grass. I still have to be careful on pavement, but that'll come soon. I'd like to say thank you to all of you for watching these videos. Some of you have been leaving some very nice comments, which makes this channel so much fun for me. So I'll be uploading some videos of Chowder and Chibi real soon. Thanks everyone.